Welcome to Whitefoot Guitars and the next video in my Build Off 23 series. Today we're diving into the process of carving a guitar neck using the faceting method, basically using lines to create a curve and I'll be utilising a Shinto rasp and Iwasaki vials to achieve the desired results. I learned this technique when I did a guitar building course at Crimson Guitars and the simplicity of it blew my mind. It makes the process of making a neck really quite simple and honestly it's easier than you may think. So what is the faceting method? Unlike traditional carving techniques, faceting focuses on creating distinct flat surfaces or facets along the neck. The first step in this process was to cut out the shape of the neck using a bandsaw and then shape it on a razor table using templates. Once we have the outline and the right thickness, we can start shaping the neck using our tools. I have lines marked along the back of the neck to carve two. One for the centre, two more parallel lines halfway between that and the edges, and one along each side halfway between the bottom of the fingerboard and the back of the neck. As you remove the hard edges between each line, you create a new facet. You then repeat the process until you create the shape of the curve you want for the neck profile. The Shinto rasp is an excellent tool for shaping and removing bulk material. Its coarse teeth allow for quick material removal while maintaining control over the shape of the neck. I'm using long smooth strokes to remove material evenly from the neck. It's essential to keep checking the progress to ensure we're achieving the desired shape and dimensions. Once we've established the rough shape of the neck, it's time to refine the facets and get into the curves around the heel and volute on the headstock using finer tools such as the Iwasaki files. The key here is patience and attention to detail. We want to create as uniform facets as possible, so as we progress it's essential to constantly check the next shape and feel, making adjustments as necessary. The only line I don't carve away is the centre line so I can ensure we don't lose any thickness. The truss rod channel is 9mm deep so I don't want to weaken the wood and risk damage when adjusting it during a setup.
the shape I'm going for with this one is a flat D, similar to the ones Ibanez make for their wizard necks, but you can make any shape you want just by spacing the lines differently. Even just a few millimetres difference will give you a C, V or even an offset neck profile. I don't really work to a specific profile, I just keep going until it feels good under my hand. The footage in this video is sped up, as this process took me around 45 minutes using these tools. You could do this a lot quicker with an angle grinder, if you're feeling brave, but this is a much quieter process and makes much less mess. And there you have it, carving a guitar neck using the faceting method. Once the neck is glued in, I'll finalise the carve and blend it in with the shape of the body. It's a process that requires some patience but the end result is truly rewarding. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more guitar building tips and tutorials. And until next time, cheers.